Hey everybody, welcome to Easy Tarot Lessons. I'm Squirrel and I'm here with Sally and the Four of Cups. Now the Four of Cups is a tricksy beast. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, he, he doesn't like to talk to a whole lot of people. He's one of those wall cards like, I got nothing for you. But me and <laughs> Sally are here to help with that today. So, <laughs> Sally. <laughs> I get to start. Yay. That means I, I get the low-hanging fruit. I like that. <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, so I was thinking like, haha, you have to start. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I get the easier things. So the Four of Cups, like you say, you know, this is one of those cards that, and I know we say this all the time with all the various cards that, you know, it just kind of depends on your intuition at the moment. And yeah, he's one of those guys that just hits you differently depending on the circumstances. Sometimes I look at him and, you know, he's aloof. He is stubborn. He's petulant. And sometimes I look at him and he's, he's meditating and he's meditating so strongly. He's not distracted by things around him. You know, he's sitting there possibly resting. I'm presuming there's shade since he has the trees above him, although you don't see any shadows around him. That's, that's kind of weird because there's got to be a sun in that sky somewhere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes he's being offered something. He's like, nope, nope, I don't want that. Or that's not what I wanted. Or look at all these things that you presented to me that none of them suffice. You know, he has different moods to me, just kind of depending on the time. Yeah, he is. We've, we've talked about other cards where it's so hard to see them as anything but, you know, like the three of swords. Mm -hmm. how could you possibly interpret that in a positive way where mm -hmm. this one swings so wildly from positive to negative depending on that intuitive feeling that this is one of those cards where you look it up in five different books and get 27 different keywords right, for it right. because it has so much to say it's just at first glance looks like he's not talking yeah, he looks very closed off. Everything's crossed. His arms are crossed. His legs are crossed. And that's just basically says, you know, don't touch me. For hell, all we know is eyes are crossed, too. What? Yeah, right. So we can't see him. <laughs> very good point. Yeah. Yeah. It's like for the longest time, back when I read with keywords, shame on squirrel, but... <laughs> Some of us have done it, and we learned the right. hard way, but he was just, you know, emotionally closed off, walled off. He didn't want anything. I saw him as incredibly entitled, mm -hmm. you know, like that spoiled rich kid that here's everything you want and win it and yeah. win it. And uh, I think it was you who showed that, wow, he could be meditating. Mm -hmm. And um, I also see him, you know, manifesting. Mm -hmm. the, he's looking at those three cups and I want another one and poof, it comes out of thin air. I love this as a manifestation card. Yes, yes. But because of the, the ambiguity of it, because we can't see, you know, sometimes I think he's sleeping and just missing the boat. Yes. Absolutely. But we don't know if his eyes are closed or open. We really just don't. Mm -hmm. So it's it's one of those tougher ones. And I say tougher because he can mean so many things. Gotta love when you get a three of swords. And, you know, it does have different meanings, but it's pretty cut and dry. Ouch. Yes, right, right, right. A, an emotional attack, a psychic attack, a, you know, heartburn, whatever is going right. on with that three of swords. But this one, yeah, it really, to me, it's just how it hits me at the moment. I can't say that he is always petulant, that he's always entitled. I, he's not always awake or always asleep. I mean, it, it, it just depends on the moment and, and what I'm getting off of it when it comes up. It's it's like what are those little puzzles when you you bend them different directions you can see different things in them, so you know that that's kind of this card you know if you you tilt it to the left you might see him as awake you tilt him to the right you might see him as asleep you know <laughs> he's just there's so much in there and and I just can't say that he's one thing. What really, what really strikes me too is I'm, I'm jumping ahead here, and one of the traditional meanings for the Nine of Cups is the Wish card. 
right it's just one of the traditional meanings and uh, it, it just kind of makes me wonder you know because here there's this cloud with this mm -hmm. hand just poof here you are mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. seems more like a, a wish card to me yeah yeah and and look at it from from the point of you know working some sort of um manifestation you you he has these things in front of him that he can focus on mm -hmm. and poof, he gets another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how those cups in front of him, that might be his tarot spread for his manifestation. Yep. 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 I want this. And lo and behold, from, from the beyond comes this. Yes, absolutely. I love that for it. I mm -hmm. love, love, love. I do too. And, but I can also see, especially out of context right now, him just ignoring that hand no that mm -hmm. wasn't what I wanted or being asleep and just totally missing it all together yeah talk about missed opportunities or what this again it's the same old same old yeah. I've already had that before I don't want it again yeah all those Beautiful. things are possible so what about reversal? And see, wow, this is going to – see, even the reversals have all those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, because you can say that, oh, yeah, finally, okay, yeah, I see what you're offering me. And, you know, I said no to it in the past, but eh, you, you, okay, I'll give it a shot. You know, maybe he's relenting a little bit or maybe his eyes are opened. Um, and maybe he is distracted by all the shiny gold things. You know, again, it's it's it, because what reversals mean to me, either it's more of, less of, opposite, not going forward, you know, something like that. Um, you, you could get the whole spectrum again. <laughs> you sure could. You sure could. wonder if that's a yoga pose. <laughs> if his hand is flipped up instead of just under his armpit he's going oh <laughs> yeah 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 I'm looking at you know sometimes when I turn these cards in reverse I see different aspects of uh, of the card that I that escape me when it's right side up and I'm looking at this and I'm not really getting that so much with this card um but I could see an opportunity lost you know yeah. because the cups are revert and whatever's in them is obviously draining away. Yeah. Nice. And something just hit me and this could mm -hmm. be like completely in left field, but, but does the ace of cups actually come out of the clouds? No, it comes out of the clouds. Yeah, it comes out. Yeah. There's, comes there's, out a, of the clouds. there's a wispy hand. For some some reason, it makes me think of the Ace of Cups, but in a, like it's it's empty. Yes, yes, yes. I see that. Yeah, Ace of Cups has the water, the the bird, the wafer, mm -hmm. all that richness. Mm -hmm. of, you know, it could be spiritually bereft. Yes, it could. Which would go right back to that walls, that non-communicative, very, very, very like not quite as closed off as the two of swords very similar though very similar feel more melancholy mm -hmm. two of swords feels much more um wow she's really forceful about it yeah he's just she's like, confident yeah he's yeah just he's me yeah he's a, <laughs> he's he's away from everyone too it's almost like you know leave me alone if i wanted to be with people i would be someplace else i i i don't want to be with you right now just give me my space so much going on in that card and so many different ways of looking at it that that right. makes it really tough i think this is a really difficult one to do because it <sighs> It looks so non-communicative at first, but then it has so many different, like almost contradictory. It's like it, it, that is not a fish bowl. No, no, it's 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 a vast ocean. Yeah, it is. Uh, but that's one of the things to take away from all of these that we do is you really have to listen to your intuition because you can't keyword this. 
you really have to listen to that voice, what, whatever is within you that is giving you the information, you know, your intuitive mind, whatever is feeding that. You have to listen to it as, you know, with cards like this because it, it, is, it, it can be so subtle. It can go in so many different directions that if you think, if you say that this is always going to be a sad person, I suppose if you're reading and your intuition knows it, you know, you're always going to see a sad person with this card. That's all you're ever going to get out of this card. But there is so much more you can get out of this card if you just listen to your intuition. Right, right. And, yeah, like you said, the gods know who they're talking to. Yeah. And they know if that's the only way you interpret this card, ah, that's the card you're going to get for that right. situation. But why limit yourself like that? Right. Why, you know, it's kind of like me, Tarzan, you, Jane, to freaking Harvard <laughs> education. You know what I mean? Right, right. If you take a look at the card, there's so much more that you will possibly be able to see. It's mm -hmm. really difficult to do on your own because it's mm -hmm. all internalized. Even if you talk it out loud, mm -hmm. it's like you'll be stuck. But if you can find somebody, just grab somebody, the closest person to you, <laughs> hey, play with me and see what they see in it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing what somebody who's never even looked at one of these images can fish out. Mm -hmm. Blow your mind. And it, it will open up your worldview or your view of that card and give you so much more ammunition. Mm-hmm. That was a tough one. <laughs> There's a lot going on, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. at first glance, it don't look like it, but mm -hmm. that could be just a still waters run deep card. Sure, absolutely. We got that quiet one over in the corner. When he opens his mouth, we're all going to be floored. <laughs> it's like that Scorpio in the room, looking at everything, taking it all in. Oh, God. Yes, and remembering everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and that could totally be a Scorpio card. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to add? No, I, I, I think we have played with this guy long enough. Right now he's saying, just leave me alone. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Stop confusing me. <laughs> Well, thank you, Sally. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And anybody, if you have any comments or if you see something or if, if, if even if you disagree with something we've said, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. See you later. Bye. Bye.